What's up guys? You know, it's just one of those days, you know, you feel good, the sun's out, you know, it's it's not raining, it, it's a nice, really cool temperature. So, uh, you know, I, I said I was going to do a, a movie, uh, you know, news video, and I got enough news that I put together that I have in uh, one, I'm going to put in one video here, and since I wouldn't forget any of the, the stuff I want to talk about, I have it all written down on paper. So uh, there's, there's a couple uh, categories that I got here, so uh, let's just get started. First news that I have is some Avengers 2 Age of Ultron news. And the first piece of news that I have from that is Joss Whedon confirmed that Scarlett Johansson uh, her character, uh, Natasha Romanoff, a.k.a. the Black Widow, will have a significant role in Avengers Age of Ultron. Which means it, it's, uh, she, she's gonna have uh, a decently sized role. She's gonna be one of the, you know, big parts of uh, Avengers 2. Now, I wouldn't say her role was not that much in Avengers, because she was in it quite a lot. You know, she, she had a, a big part to play. So let, let's see what she has to do with Avengers 2. Uh, next news, if you didn't already know this, Robert Downey Jr. is confirmed for Avengers 2 and 3. They paid him like 50 million or something. He is confirmed to be uh, Tony Stark and Iron Man in the Avengers 2 and 3, but not in Iron Man 4, which I don't really think is necessary, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, Mark Ruffalo, Chris Evans, and Chris Hemsworth confirmed for the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. Those guys, even on IMDb, it says, you know, it doesn't say rumored, it is there, they're, they are confirmed, and I saw some websites, they are confirmed. Tom Hiddleston will not be reprising his role as Loki in the Avengers 2, but we will see him in Thor The Dark World, so who knows what happens to him there. Uh, so yeah, that's my uh, Avengers Age of Ultron news, my thoughts on that, you know, I mean... Black Widow's character, I mean, she, I guess that's okay for her to have a bigger role, you know, that, that's fine if it's done well. You know, Robert Downey Jr., good that he's coming back. The whole cast of Avengers, you know, that whole thing in the past where, you know, they weren't getting paid enough and they all were threatening to quit or something. Uh, you know, that's out of the blue, I, or that, that, that's done with because they're all confirmed now. And Tom Hiddleston, jo uh, Joss Whedon said that he's not going to be in the film. So, you know... That, that's fine, I guess. I mean, they might conclude the character off in the Thor the Dark, Dark World, you know. God knows what he's going to be in next. So now I got some Star Wars Episode 7 news. Now this is not a lot of news because at D23, you know, they didn't really announce much at all of, you know, Star Wars Episode 7. They hardly said anything you know, involving Star Wars, but what I have here, Ian McDermott, who played Emperor Palpatine and Darth Sidious in, uh, you know, uh, the prequels and Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, he, uh, it's rumored that he is going to return as the Emperor. Uh, you know, I think that that will be okay, you know, I, I would see, I mean, he is the villain that we're pretty much used to with the Star Wars saga, and if they bring him back, you know, if, if they make the story good enough, like like he's a clone or something. Maybe he's not going to be a clone. Who knows what he's going to be, you know? I mean, but if they do bring him back in some way, shape, or form, maybe he's going to be like a like one of those ghosts, you know, how at the end of Return of the Jedi you had the Anakin, uh, Yoda, and Obi-Wan ghost. Maybe Palpatine is going to come back as like a ghost, like an evil ghost, and, and teach like one of his Sith apprentices. Uh, you know, who's actually living to become evil, and kind of like what he did with Anakin in Revenge of the Sith, he kind of, you know, seduced him to the dark side. Who knows, maybe he's going to be uh, seducing uh, one of Luke's kids or Han Solo's kids. None of that's confirmed, but who knows. Uh, so, we'll see what happens with that. So that's not a lot of news that I have there, but still it's something. Uh, so, and I have uh, a little bit of Pirates of the Caribbean 5 news. So this film, since The Lone Ranger basically lost Disney $190 million because so many people didn't go to see it. So now the Pirates of the Caribbean 5 budget, I don't know if this is, that's the reason, but they dropped it to $200 million. 
So, uh, and also, Jerry Bruckheimer uh, might lose his final cut of the film. Final cut, I think, basically means uh, when the film is done and it's edited, he could go in and, and change what he wants to, you know, I, I think that that's how that works. And he's going to lose that just because the Lone Ranger didn't do well and uh, they say it's a poor film. I don't think that that was Jerry Bruckheimer's fault. So, you know, you never know. Jerry Bruckheimer might lose this uh, final cut. He might not. We'll see what happens with that. So, uh, yeah, that's all the Pirates news I have. So let's get into the Finding Dory news that I have. So this uh, very small casting finding uh, Dory news that I have is Ty Burrell has been uh, added to the cast to play a whale. He's going to play a whale. Uh, you know, I really have nothing to say about that because it's nothing that I could be upset about. You know, he's going to be playing a whale. I mean, I'm finding Nemo that was, you know, a lot of other fish and, you know, things in the sea that were cast by people and that's not a problem. I, he's going to be a side character. Maybe he's going to be closer to Dory, who knows. And the other casting news is Diane Keaton and Eugene Levy uh, were cast to play uh, Dory's parents. So Dory's parents are going to be in this film. And in the first one, if we could remember, she, she says, you know, she lost her family or something and, and she doesn't know how to get back because she lost her memory. But, uh, you know, being with Marlon, it kind of helped her out and to, to remember things a little bit more. So I, th I think the, the rumored storyline, it might be this is how it's going to go. I think that this is the actual confirmed storyline that Dory goes looking for her family and uh, Nemo and Marlin go off to uh, find Dory. Finding Dory, uh, you know, hence the name. So, you know, Albert Brooks has been confirmed to come back as Marlin. Yeah, that's the Finding uh, Dory news that I have. Next, I have some very slight uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 news. Uh, you know, this is not much at all. It was just some uh, news uh, that Hans Zimmer is coming in to compose The Amazing Spider-Man 2. like Inception, Pirates of the Caribbean, the Dark Knight trilogy. He tends to work with Christopher Nolan a lot, you know. I have some Blu-ray release dates for you. All you guys who go out and get the movies that came out in the theater to come to Blu-ray, I have a couple titles here, so, and they go in order, too. So August 27th, the end of this month, it's a Tuesday, The Great Gatsby Blu-ray DVD combo pack, DVD, Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, you know, all the kind of combo packs you want that's coming out then. September 10th, Star Trek Into Darkness combo pack, you know, the Blu-ray, DVD, whatever. September 24th, Iron Man 3. October 1st, The Little Mermaid Diamond Edition. October 8th, The Hangover Part 3. Also October 8th, the Star Wars prequels and the original trilogy, the, the prequel trilogy and the original, tr uh, original trilogy are going to be released in six-disc sets. The prequels, it's going to be Blu-ray and DVD combo pack in the same, so there's six discs in the set, and the same with the originals, it's the three Blu-rays, the three DVDs, and I believe they're all digitally restored uh, once again to make them even look better on DVD and Blu-ray. I don't know if they're changing the main menu style or whatever, but that's what's going on there. October 15th, The Heat with Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock, and October 29th, Monsters University is coming to Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. So that's all my news that I have for you guys, uh, you know, today. So thank you for watching. If you were interested in anything that I had to talk about, please comment and, and tell me what you thought of anything. You're excited for anything that I mentioned? Uh, do you have any gripes or complaints about anything that I mentioned? Please comment and, uh, and let me know what you think. So guys, thank you for watching. As always, subscribe, comment, uh, like it if, if you like it, you know, whatever. And that's about it, guys. Over and out.